Hello, my name is Evan Wolf, and today I'd like to share with you an interface I built to connect your HF radio to your computer. I encourage you to visit Golf 4 India Lima Oscar's website where he goes in uh, great detail of the circuit and has some really good photos of his version of the homemade signal link. It is a good idea to outline the location of where you plan to mount the audio adapter card on the BCB proto board. The heart of this interface lies upon this USB audio sound adapter, which can be found on eBay relatively cheap. So rest assured, if you mess up soldering to the plus five volts and ground and the audio out, you're only out a few dollars. With a small flathead screwdriver, pop the case off the audio interface to gain access to the plus five volts and ground connections, as well as the audio out from the headphone jack. If you are wondering about the toggle switch, it is not shown in the circuit schematic. It simply supplies five volts to the Vox circuit for turning the Vox circuit on or off. Vox is short for voice operated switch. Hot glue is my preferred way of attaching both the feet and the audio adapter card. Here is a completed photo of the circuit. Note the notches in the USB audio interface case. The AFN cable is a connection between your radio's audio out and the USB audio interface microphone input. The data you will be transmitting and the push to talk signal are transferred to your radio via the four pin panel mount connector and a four lead mic cable. You will need to solder on a connector that fits your radio. In my case, it was this eight pin connector. Refer to your radio's user manual. After all this is said and done, you have a piece of equipment that competes with the greatly acclaimed Tigertronics signal link, which ranges from $99 to $139. With this circuit, you won't have all the bells and whistles, but at most, you'll have $30 or less involved in the project. So, I uh, encourage you to get out there and start building. This is Evan Wolf. Thank you for watching.